and it becomes this. by the drugstore before we head home. Do you mind? It'll just be a little longer. Hang on. I've got a phone call. Oh. Hello? Yeah? What? So, get to the point already. Huh? That's not funny. What? How do you think that would make Dad feel? Fine. Do whatever you want. Just don't call me again. It's 
sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You know who I was on the phone with, right? Yeah, it was my mom. She says she wants to get remarried. I don't really care if she wants to get married again. What I can't stand is how she chose to live her life. Running away from things, jumping from guy to guy. I don't think that's fair to my dad. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay now. Really, thanks. I'll never be like her. I'll never give up standing on my own two feet. Running away from your problems by clinging on to others is the worst thing you can do. I've decided I'll make it through on my own. I'll show her that I can be happy that way. For listening for some reason i feel like i can tell you anything let's head back now i'll do the rest of my shopping some other day reading a biography of the Empress Dowager from the Qing Dynasty. By many accounts, she was vilified as a ruthless despot during her reign. Then again, these kinds of stories are known to stretch the truth. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should let you read first. the right way for a person to rule. Too much kindness and you'll be seen as weak. Sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh. Even so, I imagine the Empress Dowager's final years must have been lonely, given that she was feared by her people. What do you think? A ruler is responsible for the lives of many others. Is it difficult for someone like that to find happiness like everyone else? I see. 
A happiness equal to the hardship, perhaps. It's hard to imagine what form it will take, but I'd like to believe that's true. You know, thanks to you, I've been able to sit down and reflect on a reading for the first time in a while. It really does help to have a partner going through the same book as you. Being able to discuss the material allows us to broaden our horizons even further. Such storied figures are often only written about after their passing, but surely sparks of their greatness could have been seen long before. Sometimes I find myself thinking you have that same potential. <laughs> and you've got away with words. I trust you won't disappoint. Jokes aside, I do have a lot of faith in your abilities. I hope you'll wield them with confidence. Oh, it's gotten late. We'd best turn in for the evening. Let's have another reading session here in the future. But for now, have a good night. All right, time for class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you all listening to me? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. What's bothering you? It's just... Aragaki-senpai. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but he'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just... gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around. That nothing would ever change. But some things you can never get back. I didn't consider how easily it could happen. Once I realized that, I started thinking about my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but is it okay for me to leave things with them like this? Parents, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. But I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Moriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Um, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after I transfer. Thank you all. How's that? Uh, wait. Transfer? What? You're a weird one, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving, and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring, and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed. And they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. You know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. That's Kichan. 
You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like right here? Huh? Well, um. If you don't want to say, that's okay. I'm sure you've got your reasons. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart to heart. <sighs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but you don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. <sighs> I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... I guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> Don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. Come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. I know you can do it, Natsuki-chan. <laughs> well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. Just like me. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What I want? I used to try and please everyone, just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked, so I always went along with the people around me. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them. But I like you, Fuka. Even if you hate yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, I better get going. being my friend. I'm kind of tearing up now. Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I get it now, Natsuki-chan. I'd always assumed my powers were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me, that's why my powers let me see others. But I guess there is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together makes me so happy. So, I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people, even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift I've always wanted.
you are. Oh, what are you all doing here? It is unusual to find you up on the rooftop. Well, we didn't see you around, so we weren't sure if you were all right. I think I figured it out. Okay? I've made up my mind. I'm going to do everything I can with the power I've been given. This is what I've decided I want to do. Um... Sure? <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh... You sure you're all right? <laughs> this is questionable. Affirmative. That's how it's done.
missing fee money from the other day still hasn't turned up yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I... I don't want to be here. I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't say that. I'm supposed to be a member of the student council. I'm going to look for some books. Yeah, there's no way it could have been anyone else. It's gotta be her. It's that first year on the student council, Fushimi. The gloomy girl with the long hair and glasses. The one who's always reading. I hear she stole all the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. <laughs> Damn, I could buy a brand name purse with that much. Well, I heard she has no father. So there's no way they could have that much money since her mom only works part-time. See, how could it not be her? And with such an innocent face, too. Huh? Who even are you? Is he a friend of Fushimi-san's? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't look like the type that would hang out with her. Excuse me, this is the library. Please show some respect. Let's go outside. Well, we can finish talking there. I couldn't find any books. Let's go. You heard all that, right? There have been rumors going around my class. The only time I feel safe now is when I'm with you. I don't really have anyone else I can count on. Oh, thank you. You're the only one who's on my side. I don't know what I'd do on my own right now. I, I'm sure I sound like I'm helpless, but, um, I'm okay, just so you know. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you. I have to solve this on my own. Senpai, excuse me. always has such crazy plot twists. When the main girl's best friend betrayed her, I was like, what? Being backstabbed by the one person you trusted most is just horrible. What would you do if that happened to you? Well, yeah, even without a dramatic betrayal, 
I'd be hurt if a friend started treating me differently. It happened to me once. A girl I was close to suddenly started avoiding me. Oh shit, it's starting! It's so fast-paced, we really need to pay attention. Aw, oh, no way! It's just gonna end like that? Ugh, it happens every time. But they're so good at leaving you hanging. I need to know how it ends. Let's watch more next time, okay? Pretty late. We better head back to our rooms.